Hey guys, it's Lucy again, and guess what? I found another hack to access Google VO3 with no cost of credit at all. Yeah, a new method to access Google VO3 just dropped. And as usual, I'm here to show you how to get this for free. Now, this method is totally different and it costs absolutely nothing. You don't need a VPN or a fake ID to access it, so try it out before it gets blocked like the others. And hey, if this kind of content helps you, don't forget to subscribe and like, it really helps the channel grow. Open your Google Chrome and paste the link from the description. Then scroll down until you see Get Started Now. Click on it and create an account. Sign in with Google. Once the interface loads, click on Explore Catalog. Then scroll through the interface. You'll see different options, but we're looking for something specific. So go ahead and search for Generative AI. Once you see the results, scroll again until you find the one titled Generative AI with Vertex and click on it. Some of you might already be familiar with this layout, but there have been a few small changes, so listen carefully. Click on Start Labs and complete the verification steps. It should take about three minutes. You'll then be given a temporary student account. Now right click and open the cloud console in an incognito window. Once it opens, click I understand and you'll see a pop-up where you agree to the terms and conditions. Inside that incognito window, search for Google Vids. Click the first link and sign in with the student account. Cancel the pop-up that appears and you'll be taken straight to the official dashboard. Look on the left side and click Generate. Then at the top, you'll see the option to select VO3. You can try typing your prompt here, but I already have one prepared. So just paste it and hit Create. Sorry to bother you. I think I took a wrong turn. <laughs> no bother at all. You're welcome here. Sit, have some water. You'll see that the result is simple, clean, and really impressive. Now click Insert to bring it into your project. Before I show you how to download it, let me explain how to create unlimited videos using this method. Click the icon at the top right and open the project in a new tab. You can repeat this as many times as you want. In each tab, generate a new prompt and hit Create. Switch over to your other tabs and do the same thing. That way, you're working across multiple sessions and building more content. To save your video, head over to the My Drive icon Click it, then scroll down and select Move. You can create a new folder, name it however you want, then click Create and Move. Your video will be automatically added to that folder. Now go to Google Drive, open your folder in a new tab, and you'll see all your videos there. Click the three dots next to a video and choose Download. One important thing to remember, this access is limited to just 45 minutes, so keep an eye on your time. If your session is about to expire, simply close all your tabs and end the lab. You can restart it and get a fresh 45 minutes to work here. I couldn't record that part due to technical issues, but it works exactly as before. And don't worry, this method doesn't involve any credits, so you can open as many tabs as your system can handle. Just make sure your computer can take the load. I also have a quick update for those of you who watched my last video about sharing a Google Pro account with family. That trick isn't completely patched, but they did move the option. On the Google One dashboard, I used to scroll down and see the sharing option right away, but now they've replaced it with something else. If you wanna access it now, click on See All under Member Benefits, scroll to Share Storage and More, then go to Family Settings. As you can see, mine is still active, and if you don't have this option yet, give it a try. Thanks for sticking around. And if you found this helpful, please make sure to subscribe and drop a like. I've got more coming real soon.